Out to the park went three little bears, playing hide and seek without a care, said one little bear. Let's build a home, but let's use straw instead of stone. So the cute little bear built up his home, made of straw and not of stone. He worked so hard that he took a nap, but a wolf woke him up with a rap, rap, rap. Who's there? Open your door, I'm a big bad wolf and I heard you snore. Oh no! I'll break down the door, let me come in. Not by the fur on this very chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And he did, then he laughed with an evil grin. <laughs> Went two little bears. Well, I'll build a house and I'm not scared. Said the second little bear. And I'll use wood. So she grabbed some twigs from the neighborhood. Then the cute little bear built her home made of twigs and not with stone. And she worked so hard that she took a nap. But the wolf woke her up with a rap, rap, rap. Who's there? Open your door, I'm a big bad wolf and I heard you snore. No! I'll break the door down, let me come in. Not by the fur on this very chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. Then he laughed and he laughed with an evil grin. <laughs> Just one little bear who was feeling homesick I'll make a house out of heavy bricks Said the third little bear It'll be a snap So he built that house, then he took a nap Open up, open up, open your door I'm a big bad wolf and I heard you snore Oh dear! I'll break down the door, let me come in Not by the fur on my very chin well, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in! And he tried and he tried, then he tried again! Well, the wolf did try, but to no avail And the three little pigs sent the wolf to jail They moved into their house, made bricks so strong And lived happy and safe their whole lives long <laughs> I can run faster than you Faster than anyone or anything. Oh, really? Well, then I'd like to challenge you to a race. A race? Indeed. <laughs> what fun. Once upon a time, a tortoise and a hare decided on a race just for a dare. The hare was very sure he would win hands down, but the tortoise Archibald thought, That won't get me down. Hedgewick the hare was speedy, and Archibald was slow. He almost missed his cue when they said, Ready, set, go. Slow and steady wins the race. Be like Archibald. He wasn't very snappy, but always gave his all. The hare raced like a bullet at the speed of light While the tortoise took his time, he had a goal in sight Hedgewick knew he'd win, so he stopped to take a nap As Archibald was nowhere close to catching up in laps Slow and steady wins the race Be like Archibald He wasn't very snappy But always gave his all So the hare fell asleep under a shady tree And Archie heard him snore as he passed him on mile three When Archie crossed the finish line, everyone said Hooray! Hedgewig heard the noise Well, well, you don't say Slow and steady wins the race Be 
like Archibald. He wasn't very snappy, but always gave his all. A gold medal for Archibald. He cheated. Hedgwick cried. He won fair and square with a slow and steady stride. Hedgwick now was sad he didn't win the race, but Archie tried to cheer him. Put on a happy face. It's just a silly contest, not worth a silly fight. Friendship's what's important. And with that, they made things right. Slow and steady wins the race. He like Archie Ball. That sleepy tortoise finished first, and he didn't run, he crawled. And the beanstalk. I like that one. Okay, Dewey. Shall we? Little Jack and his hopeful mom were poor and had no food. So Jack traded their cow for some magic beans to a man in the neighborhood. Plant them in your garden. You'll find a huge surprise. And just like that, a beanstalk grew so high it touched the sky. Wow! Three, five, four, four. The beanstalk grew and touched the sun. Three, five, fiddly dum. I think I'll climb. It looks like fun. So Jack climbed up the leafy vines to a castle in the sky. But when he got there, what did he see? A giant meal, my! Oh. He turned to face the giant, a scary hungry man, who wanted Jack for breakfast. No. This was not in little Jack's plan. What have I here? Yum, yum, yum. Fee, five, fiddly dum. I'm gonna eat you. Run, run, run. <laughs> the giant roared, but Jack broke free and listened to him rant. Lay golden eggs, you foolish hen, and don't tell me you can't. The giant pointed to a golden harp with the face of a sad, sad girl. And he ordered her to play a tune, then he shook the whole wide world. Fee, fi, fo, fum, the giant's work is never done. Fee, fi, fiddly dum, a boy for breakfast, yum, yum, yum. But the music made the giant sleep, so Jack, he made some tracks. Down the stalk, he slipped and slid and headed for his axe. He chopped off half the beanstalk, the giant tumbled down. The hen and harp came down as well, and the giant broke his crown. Away from the giant one, fee five, fiddly dum. The hen and the harp escaped that chum. Now the hen laid eggs that Jack could sell to buy back his lovely cow. And the harp now smiled and loved to sing. Have a listen. Whoa! A party was in order, and all the neighbors came. Jack was very famous. Everyone knew his name. Fee, five, full fun. Jack the hero saved his mom. Fee, five, fiddly dum. Cake and milk for everyone. <laughs>
Story time! Let's do the story of Little Red Riding Hood. I want to play Little Red. And Bingo, you can be in it too. Okay, okay. And Dad can be the huntsman. Okay, Dad? Radio. <laughs> there once was a girl all dressed in red. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. No, not a boy, but a girl instead. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. She went to visit her gran, who was not feeling well. And her puppy followed through the woodsy dell. Oh, boy, oh, boy! Now remember what I told you. Go straight to Grandma's house and don't talk to anyone along the way. Yes, Mom! Little Red brought goodies wrapped up nice. Oh, boy, oh, boy! Because her gran loved sugar and spice. Oh, boy, oh, boy! But once in the woods, a wolf saw Little Red. And where are you off to, dear? He said. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy! Nope, nope, nope. I'm not going to talk to you. I'm on my way. Well, all right. I don't want to be rude. We're taking this to Granny's place. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. The poor dear's sick, so we'd better race. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Then Red waved goodbye. But the wolf thought, yes, I'll follow her, I must confess. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! <laughs> I know my way around these woods, and I'm pretty fast. The wolf dashed into Grandma's place. Oh boy, oh boy! Get in the closet and hide your face. Oh boy, oh boy! With Granny locked up, he got in bed. I'm a poor old lady. The hairy wolf said. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Who's there? It's me, Granny. Oh, uh, oh. come in, dear. Hello, Granny. Said Red when she walked inside. Oh boy, oh boy! I thought I heard a desperate cry. Oh boy, oh boy! What was that? Cried Little Red. Uh, nothing, dear. Come here. He pled. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Whoops. Uh-oh. Hmm. Why, Granny, what big ears you have. Why, yes. Why, yes. And Granny, what big eyes you have. Why, yes. Why, yes. And Granny, what big teeth you have. Why, yes, I'm blessed. Oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes! The better to eat your earth! Bingo! Cried Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, boy! Oh, boy! Then a huntsman who was chopping wood. Oh, boy! Oh, boy! Broke through the door and he grabbed that beast and knocked him out. Oh, boy! Oh, boy! Oh, boy! You're a naughty wolf! Go away and don't you ever come back here! Well, the huntsman freed Red's grand. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And Red said, I'm your biggest fan. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It's all my fault. Said Little Red. I didn't listen to what Mama said. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That was kind of scary. But it all worked out in the end, didn't it? <laughs> she should have listened uh -huh. to her mommy. And the wolf went away and never, ever came back. Hooray! <laughs> Here's the story of the little boy who cried wolf. A little boy who tended sheep, tended sheep, tended sheep Sat on a hill like little Bo Peep And tried not to fall asleep To pass the time and make some fun Make some fun, make some fun He cried out Wolf! to everyone My poor sheep are on the run! Help! Wolf! There's a wolf chasing my sheep! It was just a joke he laughed about, laughed about, laughed about. It's so funny that folks came out. And he laughed when they began to shout. <laughs> We've 
don't see a wolf, said a villager there. The sheep are fine. Was that just a dare? It was a joke just to pass the time. It's no big deal. It's not a crime. <laughs> you all look so scared. <laughs> One day passed and the boy had a plan. Had a plan. Had a plan. I think I'll do it all again. Just because I can. And just because it seemed like fun, seemed like fun, seemed like fun, he cried out Wolf! to everyone. My poor sheep are on the run! Help! Help! Wolf! My poor sheep! Help! But it was just a joke that he laughed about, <laughs> laughed about, <laughs> laughed about, and once again, folks came out, but when they saw no wolf, they began to shout. We don't see a wolf anywhere. The sheep are fine, now that's not fair. It was just a joke to pass the time. It's no big deal, it's not a crime. But the little boy giggled <laughs> and thought it was funny that once again, he fooled all the villagers. Then one day while tending his flock, tending his flock, tending his flock, the boy saw a wolf and went into shock. I'd better call for help! He thought. Help! Help! Wolf! My poor sheep! Help! Help me! Help me! It's the big bad guy! Big bad guy! Big bad guy! It's the truth, I swear! I would not lie! Please come help me! Hear me cry! Help! There's a wolf! Really? Help! The villagers heard his crying plea, crying plea, crying plea, but they thought it was a joke, you see. So they had cake and cups of tea. So on that day he came to town, came to town, came to town. The villagers gathered all around. And he said, I'm sorry that I let you down. I'm sorry that I let you down. I sure learned my lesson. Yay! Once upon a time, there were three brown bears and they lived in the deep dark woods. One fine day, as the porridge cooled, they walked around the neighborhood. The porridge was too hot! Down the path through the deep dark woods, a little girl skipped along. Goldilocks was the little girl's name and she didn't know right from wrong. Hello? And she saw three bulls on the kitchen table She grabbed a chair and climbed right up As fast as she was able Yummy! Porridge! She took a taste from Papa's bowl Yuck! It's much too hot! She took a taste from Mama's bowl Yuck! It's much too cold! She took a taste from Baby's bowl This one tastes just and she ate with a spoon, and very, very soon, she swallowed every bite. Look at those comfy rocking chairs! She sat down on Papa Bear's chair. This is much too hard. She sat down on Mama Bear's chair. This is much too soft. She sat down on Baby Bear's chair. This one feels just right. And she rocked and she rocked till the chair fell apart. She had quite a fright. Ouch! Ooh, look at those comfy beds! She laid down on Papa Bear's bed. This is much too hard. She laid down on Mama Bear's bed. This is much too soft. She laid down on Baby Bear's bed. This one feels just right. She pulled back the covers and snuggled in. And then turned off the light. Good night. Someone.
one's been eating from my bowl. Said Big Papa Bear. Someone's been eating from my bowl. Said Big Mama Bear. Someone's been eating from my bowl. And there's nothing left for me. A baby bear was very sad. As sad as I can be. Someone's been sitting in my chair. Said Big Papa Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair. Said Big Mama Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair and broke it all apart. And Baby Bear began to cry with all his little heart. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. Said Big Papa Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. Said Big Mama Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. And she is still there. And Goldilocks woke up to see three very angry bears. Not so fast. Said Papa We'd better have a talk. I'm very, very sorry, said little Goldilocks. Goldilocks and Baby Bear became the best of friends. And that, my little Dewey, is how the story ends. It's a... I don't know. Well, let's find out. Long ago, Jack and his mom lived their life on a country farm. They were poor, not enough to eat, so they made a plan to make ends meet. Jack, go sell our cow, Bessie, and with the money we can grow more crops. On market day, Jack sold old Bess to a funny lass who was oddly dressed. Hello, young man. She politely Trade you beans for that milking cow. They're magic beans, oh. and they'll grow a crop as high as the sky. Wow! Jack went home to show his mom, but when she saw what he had done, she threw away the beans outside. Oh, Jack, just beans, oh mom! She cried. But but mom, they're magic beans. Oh, magic schmagic! The next day, where the beans did land, a giant beanstalk grew. Oh man! But when he went inside the place, a big fat giant with an ugly face came thumping in so very loud, shook the heavens and the clouds. Fee fi fo fum, I smell a boy, yum, yum, yum. Fee fi fo fum, ready or not, here I come. Jack was so frightened that he hid in the cupboard while the giant counted his gold. When the big old giant fell asleep, Jack escaped with gold to keep. Decided he'd go back up there. But first I'd better say a prayer. Oh please, oh please, keep me safe from the mean old giant. He climbed up to the castle and hid inside. Aha! He said, the giant's pride. Golden eggs from that little hand. The giant counted at least ten. One, two, three, four, five. What comes after five? Feet five, four, oh, four, I smell a boy. Yum, yum, yum. Feet five, four, oh, four, ready or not, here I come. <gasps> oh, yikes. <gasps> Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. Oops, <laughs> wrong story. Jack was fast and acted quick. He grabbed that fine white lid. Giant came thundering after 
Jack and threw himself on the beanstalk. When I got home, I grabbed an axe and chopped that beanstalk all the way down. And that big old giant went hurtling off, never, never ever to be found. With the hen's golden eggs, Jack and his mom could now live a good life. Jack's mom was proud and made a feast, and neighbors came from near and far. The harp played songs and sang along. Jack, you are a shining star. Jack, you are a star. So, did they make beanstalk soup? No, but now they had a hen that laid golden eggs. Oh, but you could break your teeth on those. <laughs> <laughs> Story time, everyone. How about Little Red Riding Hood? Yeah! Okay. I want to pretend that I'm Little Red <laughs> and I'll be the big bad wolf. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure Wookie likes that idea. Everyone ready? Yeah! yeah! There once was a girl all dressed in red Who went to her grandma's sickly bed She's not feeling well, so I'll cut through the dell And visit Gran for a short little spell Now remember, don't talk to any strangers <gasps> I promise! Mama gave Red some special teas Grandma's very favorite cheese But in the woods a wolf stopped Red Well, hello, my dear, you're going where? He said Um, you're a stranger, right? I'm not really supposed to talk to you But I'm off to Grand, she's sick in bed I've brought some cheese and fresh baked bread Then Red took off, but the wolf was smart He knew the to Grand's by heart. <laughs> I'm smarter than the average wolf. <laughs> the wolf sneaked into Grandma's place. I'll hide you so there's not a trace. He locked her in, got into bed with Granny's nightcap on his head. Help me! Poor Granny cried. Why come in, dear? Why, Grand? Said Red, and she walked right in. Oh, I've been wondering how you've been. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay. But she sounded weird. Uh, Granny, since when do you have a beard? Oh. Granny has a beard. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Hmm. Why, Granny, what big ears you have? And Granny, what big eyes you have? And Granny, what big teeth you have? The better, my dear, to eat you with! <gasps> no! <laughs> no! Oh, no! Say that to my face! The better to eat <gasps> you with! <laughs> oh! Oh! On second thought, no, no! Cried Little Red Riding Hood And a huntsman burst in from the woods He broke the door and he grabbed that beast Why, I'll give you a pow! To say the least! You're a big, bad, hairy wolf! And you better stop being a bully or you won't have any friends! Uh, huh. <laughs> well, the huntsman let poor Granny out And Little Red just blurted out I talked to a stranger Confess, Little Red I've learned my lesson now She said She learned her lesson now, she said Wow, that big bad wolf sure learned his lesson. Uh -huh. He sure did. And they sent him away and he never came back. See what happens to big bad bullies? Indeed. Now what's the moral of the story? <gasps> never let a wolf know if you have fresh baked bread and special <laughs> cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Let's tell the story of the boy and the wolf and the sheep. Oh, the little boy who cried wolf. Why would he cry wolf? <laughs> because he didn't know how to say wah. <laughs> Joey, <laughs> why don't you pretend to be the shepherd boy and tell us all about it? <laughs> sure. I'm a shepherd boy who tends his sheep. I try hard not to fall asleep. Because sometimes it can get real slow watching all the 
grass, green grass grow? <laughs> hey, I have an idea. <laughs> I think I'll play a little joke on all the local towny folks. I'll pretend a wolf came by, chased my sheep and made them cry. <laughs> The villagers came out to see The boy and sheep were quite carefree The boy just laughed <laughs> I was kidding, guys! But this was not a fun surprise Shame on you for making us all worry We thought you and your flock were in trouble Oh, it was just a joke Can't you take a joke? <laughs> The next day passed and night dragged on The boy made a plan in early dawn I'll do it all again today So I'm not bored And he laughed away <laughs> Help me, help me A wolf appeared It chased my sheep We're all afeard <gasps> Oh dear Sounds like trouble So once again villagers climbed the hill to see the sheep were fine the boy <laughs> I was kidding guys I think you better apologize Yeah Say you're sorry You tricked us again That's just not nice You lied to us <laughs> It was just a joke the villagers were not happy, but the shepherd boy thought it was funny that he once again tricked the townspeople. You bet. One fine day while with his flock, a wolf appeared. The boy was shocked. He cried out to the village folks. Help me, please. This is not a joke. Ah, la -di -da. Would you like another cup of tea? Don't mind if I do. But no one paid attention then Thought it was a joke again They ignored the shepherd's plea Just relaxed and drank their tea Hey, this is not funny Help me, help me, a wolf appeared It's chased my sheep We're all afeard But sadly no one came. The shepherd boy realized that no one believed him anymore. The boy came running into town. Everybody gathered round. He's the one who made us mad. I'm sorry I behaved so bad. I really am. I've learned my lesson and I'll never lie again. Woo! Ready for story time, little twins? Yay! How about Jack and the Beanstalk? Beans out 
what did Jack see? A huge beanstalk so tall and green. It went all the way up to the sky. This is a stalk I have to climb. He climbed and he climbed and climbed some more. Through the clouds he saw a door. Look at that. something to eat. She cooked some breakfast for the boy, but at the door there was a giant noise. Fee, fi, fo, boy, I smell a little boy. I smell a little boy. Jack got scared and ran away. He grabbed the golden egg on his way. He climbed back down the green bean stalk and gave the egg to his mom. The very next day, he climbed to the sky. He found a golden harp in the castle up high. <laughs> Oh boy, I smell a little boy! Jack got scared and ran away, but the giant chased him all the way. He climbed down the beanstalk really fast and chop, chop, chopped it down. Now Jack and his mom had so much gold, they were rich until they were old. They both Happily ever after, happily ever after. Jack and the Beanstalk, yeah, yeah, yeah. The end. Yay! like the mean old troll in the story of Billy Goat Gruff. Oh yeah, that's my favorite story. Once there were three Billy Goats. One was very small. One was in the middle. One was big and tough. These were the Billy Goat Gruffs. They went walking across a bridge. Bridge. I'm gonna get 
you and gobble you up. And that's just the way it is. No, please, troll. Don't eat me. I'm just average size. If you want to eat someone, wait a bit. My brother's much bigger. He's your prize. Hmm. Okay, you can go. Here is crazy and mad. That means 
when she opened them, she was by the riverside. She shook her head, looked at the stream, 